I don't even know that Mazin Amdekano has already saw what I'm seeing in Christianity today, before long ago. I don't even know that Mazin Amdekano has been clamoring, you know, against the stupidity of Christian prayers in Nigeria. The only people that when it is time for them to fight for their right, they will fight for God. But when it's time for God to fight for himself, now Christian Mughals in Nigeria will start fighting for their God. And that their God remains European Jesus written in a book. But our own God is Chukwoki Kabema, whom nobody is the founder in Igbo land. So we are the one worshiping a living God. So any Christian who is telling you that he is a man or woman of God is a criminal. He's just man of fiction and slavery. So I want you to watch this video of Mazen Namdekano, very powerful. He lamented seriously against the foolishness of a black man whom I am saving here practically with normal procedure made for it everywhere in the world, which I keep on clamoring, crying for them to use their brain, especially those who are sick. Face reality once you encounter reality and you fail to do the need for your name is sorry. So please watch. Into the new interpretations of Christian doctrine. Pray, 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 left, right, and center. The more you pray, the worse things become. The more your daughters become prostitutes. The more your men become essentially those that patronize prostitutes. The more your mothers are raped, the more your children can't go to school, the more people are kidnapped for ritual purposes, yet you are praying. But the container you imported from China is coming from a country that does not pray the same way you do. Yet they can make something. Yet they are blessed. But you claiming that you are praying morning, noon, and night, prayer, 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 you have nothing. But because you are African, you cannot see that you have nothing. You are a black person, you cannot see that you have nothing. Your stupidity is so staggering, it is untrue. The stupidity of an average black African is so mind-boggling that it is unbelievable. Unbelievable. If you have problem, you pray. If you have miscarriage, you pray. Everything you pray. If you get to Roger Sokolacha, pray. Or if you get to Wazurike, oh, please pray that they can leave you. So when you land your container, you know, they will not take 20,000 from you, those defending you. Go and pray. Go on, killed us. And we are still praying. Tarana killed us. We are still praying. It is that same prayer that led us to allow Omar Sanda Wachuku to go and representing us, to go and represent after killing us. You kill us, you go and represent in Dibu. You kill Igbo people, you go and represent them. Because you are praying. Our people, you are not praying. You are dabbling in stupidity. It's not prayer. You are being very, very foolish. You're not praying. What can you make? What can you manufacture? What do you have in you to offer as goods and services to other people? Nothing. Don't crude oil. Pray, 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 pray. I wish that um, I'm mistaken. That is the news we're presenting today. It's not finished. We must read it out. Yes, there's many of them. There is no day that you get good news from the zoo. It's either somebody has stolen money, he, and they will tell you they are being blessed. They've been blessed. The bishop there is blessed. He's blessed. He has an entourage. Every year, you go, every week, you go to the bishop's house and give the bishop something to eat. Whereas you are starving. Radio Biafra is looking for funding to go and confront Boko Haram head on. But you go to church. You give them tithe. You give offering. You give them everything in the church. And when you die, do you know what happens? The church will submit their own list. You still pay, even in death. For them to come and bury you. What have they done for you? Have you heard of any church somewhere building a house for anybody? For homeless people? Whereas in England, where we are, I worked for Paddington Churches Housing Association, part of Genesis, one of the biggest housing um, corporations you have in the whole of England, if not in the United Kingdom. Do you know who builds houses for people? Paddington Churches Housing Association, PCHA. Is there anywhere people know any church providing housing, subsidized housing for people, ordinary working people? The answer is no. All your life you give tithe. All your life you give offering. 
Where is your reward? Of course, they will tell you somewhere in heaven. Isn't it? But their own reward is here. Why can't uh, uh, is it a, a devil or uh, is it a dirty lawyer? Why don't you wait when you go to heaven? You buy aircraft in heaven. Why don't you wait when you go to heaven? You buy, you buy private jet. Why don't you wait? And you wear Rolex wrist watches. Why don't you wait for heaven to come for you to do that? Our people must learn. This is radio. We are here to educate you, of course. Do you think we don't speak the truth here? We speak the truth regardless of who is affected. We don't give a damn who is affected. As long as the truth is spoken, that's what drives us, not nonsense. We speak it here without fear. We are without fear before our enemies. Before our enemies, we are without fear. I took an oath to speak the truth always, even if it leads to my death. I will not flinch from it. I shall do so. When you are being led astray, when you are being made to look like an, a complete fool, we are here to inform you, your so-called bishop, your so-called archbishop, stealing every blessed day. Today is Sunday. You have gone to some useless churches and em emptied your pockets. Where no wonder Boko Haram are killing you like insects all the time all over the place, and nobody's asking after you. Have your bishop asked after you? Your bishop uh, uh, extraordinaire in Rome, or the one in Canterbury, or the one anywhere in the USA, are they asking after you? Are they remembering you? But Boko Haram is getting chemical weapons from Iran. Islamic countries are supporting Islamic fighters. What are Christian countries doing? Why are they not supporting you? Because they look at you as a complete idiot who don't know anything. You are a fool. Go and pray. Prayer solves this. Prayer solves that. Go and pray. Kneel and pray. You kneel down and you die there out of stupidity and lack of common sense. This is Radio Biafra, the truth on the preach on this very platform. We are here to do so. We don't want a Biafra full of idiots. If you have economic crisis in the country, you say, oh, go and pray. Instead of you to go and look at the factors of demand and supply, see how you can correct the problem, you go and pray. When you have aircraft, aircraft in the zoo, you go and pray. Instead of you to go and fix your aircraft and go and buy new ones, you say, oh, uh, let, let, the prayer will solve it. Where did you get that hopeless, stupid, foolish brain from? Black people. They make me sick. Very sick. Nigerian youths have been ranked the least happy in the world. They are the saddest in the world, and rightfully so. And some foolish people who is against me, some of them, when you look into their profile, you see the picture of Mazen and the kind of, the picture of IPOP. Now, this is your leader speaking, not I, Isaac. Your leader speaking. Let me tell you, Christianity religion is just created for black man to remain under European and remain slave forever. Keep on wandering in adoration, in Zion, so many prayer ministry. Uh, it is over with mouth. The day you encounter reality, you will know that your prayer in Nigeria is just simply means stupidity. Because these are things you need to put action. The way I am putting, saving all of you in the hospital, no spirit on this earth can answer you if you fail to do the normal procedure that the whole world are using to remove poverty in their nation. The same system that America used to remove poverty in their nation is the same system that German used to remove poverty. It's the same system that the France, Italy, Norway, Finland, Dublin used to remove poverty in their own nation. But you, a black man, want to use a prayer with the fasting, with the name of a white man named called Jesus, to remove poverty, premature death, sickness in your communities. You are brainwashed. Come and join us in Omen and Abu And if you like what we are doing, please like and follow us on this page so that we will keep on getting our update as we keep on saving the life of our people. Join this movement. Our tradition is our inheritance. We are where you will hear the sad truth that will enable you to reason as a human. Thank you and thanks to Mazen Amdekano for this powerful message given to black man who is living in darkness in Africa. But one day, all of them will wake up to know that what we lack here is just basic thing that we need to do for ourselves, that government need to do for us, not Jesus or Shabbat.